Hi guys, how are you? I'm back. This is I'm the G, now AKA Flat Water. <coughs> that will be my name from now on. I promise I won't change it again. So what I have for you guys today is pretty big, pretty huge. I'm pretty, I'm very excited to share this stuff with people. Um, I found this about two weeks ago. Uh, I saved it at, at another person's house, so uh, I thought that I'd lost it. I thought I wasn't going to be able to find this again, and it was difficult to find again. But what basically happened was I was going through flat earth information on a, on a website. Um, I forget where I was, but some guys commenting in the bottom of the, of the video, and this is why I love the comments, some of your best information com some comes from the comments sometimes. So what happened was they were pointing out the publication number of the patent on on a map and it was I think it was Gleason's map actually and <clears throat> however it worked out I ended up searching out that patent and was stunningly surprised to find what was linked to that patent to me this is a uh, an absolute smackdown an absolute shutdown an absolute finisher for the globe this is uh, a knockout for the flat earth what I found is that Gleason's map was linked to what you see here. You've probably already been reading it as I've been talking, the Universal Planisphere Complete Guidance and Computer System. So you'll see that this is U.S. Patent 3858334, done by the Eisenhower Manufacturing Company. The main principal inventor being William A. Eisenhower himself. He's a fairly famous inventor. I can see why now. If you read the abstract here, and as we get into it, you'll see why this is such an amazing find. Basically, this is explaining that we do live on a planisphere, on a plane surrounded by a sphere. So in the abstract here, I'll just begin reading. A planisphere for providing displays and affecting calculations in astronomy and navigation and the method of operation thereof. The planisphere structure incl includes plurality of substantiality, Circular concentric flat dials which are progressively larger in diameter toward a central largest diameter dial on both sides of the central largest diameter dial. The dials are pivotally mounted centrally and have both astronomy and navigation oriented scales as well as star and polar azimuthal equidistant projection maps thereon. There's the key right there. Polar azimuthal equidistant projection maps. Reference rules and transit scale indicators, Greenwich indicators and Aries indicators, the latter three of which are part of specific planisphere dials extend radially outward of the largest diameter dial on both sides of the planisphere and are connected together radially outwardly of each other respectively blah 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 they're all connected in the center <coughs> what you have is a series of dials and I'll bring up what they are here so here you have the azimuthal equidistant map in the center and around it is these concentric rings of metal that you can spin over the plane that references the flat earth. So you can see that this is Gleason's as a muscle equidistant map that he has referenced as his base for this computational calculator, this planisphere computer. So this now is the star chart with some more of the rings around it and more of the star chart. And further diagrams of the figures that make up this invention. You can see if you read through the invention here, the other inventions that it references, Universal's Planisphere Complete Guidance and Computer System. So in operation, the planisphere may be programmed to provide an overhead or ground position display of the stars in either of the northern and southern hemispheres viewable from different predetermined latitudes on a predetermined day at a selected time in a Copernican manner. Further, hour angles, circle diagrams, and navigators' time diagrams may be solved on the planisphere of the invention to provide rapid, accurate information in conjunction with readily available printed reference material without the possibility of mathematical computational errors. Altitude and azimuth information with respect to celestial bodies is also available from the planisphere of the invention. <coughs> so, here he gets into the background and the field of the invention. Um, basically it says the planisphere the structure is is created for accomplishing astronomical 
astron excuse me, astronomical and navigational calculations and displays. Um, it can provide ground positions and distances to heavenly bodies at different longitudes. Um, what, what you basically see here is that if the Earth was a ball, a circle, and he were to create uh, a manual calculator, a manual computer for determining lines of sight and and targeting from positions, he would have created a globe, or he would have created two globes, two hemispheres, and used that as his as his mapping. This shows that because he's using the Gleason's map. And because airplane, this is for airplane use and airplane direction, that this is how things actually work on the ground in real life. And so that tells you that things on the ground in real life actually work on a azimuthal equidistant map, aka that is the reality on the ground. So you can go through many more of, uh, you can read through this if you want. What it does is it gives you a link as well to the other um, the other patents that are it are linked to. So we'll go through some of these here. So basically, here's here's the original patent four nine seven nine one seven for Alexander Gleason's map. And it was this is another interesting point that I think people have skipped over a bit is that in order for a patent to go through, it has to actually work on the ground. It has to physically work properly. And in order for them to patent. Alexander Gleason's map it had to be agreed upon <clears throat> and if you look at that map you'll see that it's agreed upon in all the major cities around the world it's like Paris London New York um, so it shows you that the world governing bodies agreed on that map as the functioning map of the world so after that you'll see a couple other things that it's linked to down the left here cited patents and reference patents these are patents that are referenced or used within this patent. So again, Universal Planisphere Complete Guidance and Computer System. So this one is that one, the Complete Guidance and Computer System. There's a couple to mention here that are linked together. Comprehensive Time Determination System, Universal Timepiece, Solar Geostellar Planisphere. That's a good one to look up more time determination, celestial navigation device, which is inside of this, a global time indicator is inside of this, a universal timepiece is inside of this, the elevation angle sensing, celestial navigation and surveying is inside of this, and then this is the other amazing one, universal planisphere, site reduction finder and identifier, guidance and computer system. So this is the other major uh, patent that's linked to this patent. So we'll pull it up, and what we see is, it's a further uh, addition to the original uh, patent and what we see is again the use of a planisphere and the use of the flat earth map and here's his claim of the invention and what you'll see again is that it's telling you that using the ground position of a polar azimuthal equidistant polar map that you're able to navigate and reduce site reduction finder so you're able to get you're able to lock right onto a target identify it and navigate yourself towards it so it shows you that if it was not actually a flat earth this would never function properly so again it's proof that the earth is flat if the earth was not flat this would not be the map that would be used. And we'll also go into, he goes into here what he's used it for, the brief descriptions of the drawings, uh, description of the preferred embodiment, and it tells you, if you read through it properly, it tells you this is how they're actually guiding airplanes in the sky when they need to know for sure where that airplane is on the Earth. And what it's doing is it's using small telescopes, small sight finders, star finders to lock onto stars 
and then reference them within the small metallic planisphere to know exactly for sure where the airplane is on the earth reference the celestial bodies the stars and the planets and so on uh, further to notice inside of here is that uh, well, well I'll show you the direct link between here and the actual map because it, it shows you here in patent citations that it cites 497-917 which we'll go to right now and it's this something a lot of flat earthers have seen before and it's just the Alexander Gleason flat earth map I'm going to just state this again if this was not how it is he would not have used this and it would never have passed as a patent particularly for the type of use that it's for, for military use. One of the other ones that I brought up here actually linked as well to Hughes Aircraft and to Hughes uh, in general. Let's see if I can find that now. No, it's not there. Uh, this is another one, educational one that's based on the same thing. This is from the 50s. And it's a teacher saying that people should be handling a manual computer like this in order to better understand the, the world that they live on. So I think that going with uh, tying this in with the uh, the work of Russian vids and some other people, you know, referencing the uh, one of his last videos about uh, there being NASA publications that refer to a non-rotating flat earth. Um, so it's similarly referred to in here. Um, and I'll just, again, I'm just going to sum this up in that this is a, a handheld or a handmade metallic uh, actual computing device. So you can go through the pictures here and see that, again, he's using the uh, Gleason's azimuthal equidistant map and star charts combined on some dials to show airplanes these will be US Air Force and US Space Force or any Air Force's craft that are bombers or long-range or major operational vehicles will be using this system in it to make sure that they have guidance any ships I'm sure that this is what the ships are using and you can see again that's the azimuthal equidistant map, a flat earth map, built in as a plane sphere, a planisphere, and it's used for a sight reduction and guidance system. Sight reduction finder, identifier, guidance, and computer system. It's universal. It works from everywhere on the plane to anywhere else on the plane. So again, amazing, devastating proof that the earth is flat. Thank you for your time, guys, and I'll see you again.